Now. Miss Now. You look pale, Miss Now. Professor. I... I... I feel like I'll never pass! M miss Now, what's the matter? Exams are ways away yet, and I'm sure you'll be fine, Miss Now. I can't! If I fail, I... What'll I even do? Um, please calm down. I'm busy driving. Maybe I'll swallow a bunch of mud and die! It seems you feel quite cornered. Er, uh, Miss Now, to tell you the truth, I failed my college exams. Huh? You did, Professor? Yes, indeed. I had grades as good as anyone's, and more or le and a more or less serious lifestyle. I put in a perfectly good effort, at least I believed so. However, where some will pass, others will fail. There's nothing that can be done about it. And being more conceited than the average person, I lashed out at everything. However, people can always improve themselves. So, Miss Now, what do you suppose gives people the impetus to improve? My, 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 I wasn't asking you to give the model answer, you know. But still, how wonderful! You must speak to your purity that you can honestly embrace the words of others in any situation. Well, in my case, it was time. It required an above average amount of time, and I regained the courage to face forward. And such is why now, I enjoy my time with you and the rest of the class. Though I failed, I gained happiness. The dream I had pictured did not come to pass, but the reality I found was much like a dream. Professor! There's nothing to fear in failure. A person's life does not end there. As long as you live on, happiness will surely come to you. Uh! Uh! Professor Mishima is dead. Because of our votes. Despair falls over us. We keep our distance. Now alone sits near Professor Mishima. How should I sort out these feelings? I can't think of what to say to now. Suddenly, I look toward as I look toward the exit. Damn it, she got us! So? Miss Sarah, look at this! So slowly close the door to the room. There's a message here. Read it, Miss Sarah. The second trial, practice round. This is a practice for the main game. The start is signaled by the doll's revival. Follow instructions and hold a majority vote. The one with the most votes is to be sacrificed. However, this is a practice round. If the votes come to a draw, the game is forfeit. So, whoever didn't vote, whoever didn't vote for themselves is at fault. The second trial, it's named just like the first one we did. We never noticed this note. Damn it! It's all because I said to keep the door open in case there was danger. We were clearly led into doing so. This room had an ominous air even before entering. The game's forfeit if it's a draw? Then don't tell me. If everyone had gotten the same votes, then there'd be no victim. Is that right? You, you're kidding me! So, so he died for nothing? It was an avoidable trap if we just checked the door. Professor Mishima... Professor? Professor? This is just a lie, right, Professor? Please! Please get up! You can't do this! Everyone's worried! Professor? Now, weakly shook Professor Mishima's body. And his scorched, fragile neck fell. Pro Professor? N now! D don't touch that! Meow! The old guy! Don't look, Gein! Stay away! Damn it! Damn it! What the hell? Who? Who voted for Mishima? You're real. <laughs> Shut up, you eyesore! Damn! Huh? I mean, it's because of the votes he. It's always possible everybody voted for someone sides themselves, you know? Settle down now. Listen, everybody. Don't do any probing into each other's votes. But we voted without knowing a thing. No one had any ill will. You know that, right, Sarah? 
I mean, I want to side with uh, the best boy, but KG is also, like, correct. Well, actually, more like KG is more likely to be correct, because, like, we have no reason to distrust anybody at the current time. Mm. Sarah. Right, you've got a lot on your plate, too, huh? I'm gonna go cool my head, too. Just let me be alone for a second. Joe staggered out of the room. And the others, some left, some stayed. They all began to scatter their own ways. Oh no, Gein! What are you doing, Gein? Gein, I know how you feel, but you shouldn't be here. J just a little longer, meow. It was just a little bit, but we did go searching together, woof. How do we use this gun to shoot the doll? I want to shoot the doll. Kai is staring directly at the kitchen. It is locked. Perhaps there's nothing to be done. What are you doing? I was thinking of ways to enter the kitchen. It has not yet been checked, you see. You're so calm. Is this person really my stalker? I thought if he was the stalker, he'd be with the kidnappers. But when he hit Miley, I sensed undeniable hostility. Kai was angry. Miss Sarah? Er, Kai, are you... Ah! The lights! Miss Sarah, are you alright? I'm fine. It may be a trap. Let us look for the switch. God damn it. The door to the kitchen shut fast. Something's glowing! There are glowing letters using fluorescent paint. They're on some sort of paper. The one who claims this, this now belongs to you. Keep it on you always. This is a key to the exit. Let no one else know the existence of this card. Otherwise, you will die. Miss Sarah, are you unharmed? I hid the card before I could even think. Uh, I'm okay. Looks like the lights came on. Let us look at the other rooms to see if anything occurred in that moment. Key Master! Uh-oh! This is the weirdest tarot card I've ever seen. I wonder who misplaced this. On the back of the card was a strange image. Key Master? The other texts seem to disappear, so what does Key Master mean? If I don't follow these rules, I'll die? I feel like I'm being led by them again. Yeah, but then again, like, if you disobey them, they'll ignite your collar anyway, so you're kind of fucked no matter what. What is that? Where there had been nothing before, now there were stairs! It's the Polnareff stairs! <laughs> is this another trap? A large staircase leading up. Now when did this get here? Don't tell me these stairs lead to... Don't know about that, but whatever the case, bet we gotta go. Damn it, it's just gonna be another trap anyhow! What do you think, Sarah? Everyone's on edge right now. If we go, we should get everyone together first. But you heard about the main game, right? We're gonna pick one of us to die? Of course I don't want to take part in it, but how are we supposed to feel any unity? You might have a point, but... Damn it! All right, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna try and believe in you. We'll go up here when everyone's assembled. Anybody who tries to go up on their own, I'll catch them good. Please don't be rough, okay? <laughs> Look, Miss Sarah, there are these stair here, stairs here now. Wonder where they lead. I don't know, but Miley left a few spots of blood. I'm sure she went up here. Miley? I only just got here, so I don't know. Has anyone gone missing? I can't imagine anyone would go up these stairs on their own, but... You aren't thinking of going up, are you, Miss Sarah? I'm telling you for your own good. You should refrain for now. More importantly, there's something I want to show you. Eh? Come to the back of the cafeteria, please. Ah, so? I wonder what he wants to show me. Better not be his cock or I'm going to be really angry. Right, so told me to come here, but... 
Miss Sarah, this way, this way. I'm over here. What? So? Is that you? I held the lighter in the direction of his voice. There's another door? Hidden room. Dark, isn't it? There's only the light from that stand. What did you want to show me in this place? Check what's on the desk. There's something placed on the desk. So looks cute. <laughs> oh, I didn't know CJ was into homeless twinks. Interesting. Yes, it's a man. <laughs> Sarah, it's a laptop computer. Very intriguing, right? I did try starting it up. There's no power cord, but it seems to be running on battery power. So once the battery's dead, it's over. Want to investigate what's on it, but... This might be a trap, too. I'm aware of that, but we can't not investigate it, you know? However, there's a problem. This laptop is locked with a password, so you can't see what's stored in it, on it. I tried some random passwords, but all I accomplished was draining the battery. You got any ideas? Aha! That's a possibility! And if it opens with someone's name, there's a good chance they're the laptop's owner. But if it's a name we don't know, there'd be no way for us to learn it. It'd be best if we could just conveniently find a piece of paper with the password. Now that would definitely be a trap. Yeah. Hmm, if we just had a hint. Ah! A hint, huh? Maybe this is a hint from the kidnappers. What do you mean? There's probably information on here that's valuable to us, but worthless to them. Solve the riddle, and we'll gen generously give it out. If you can't, it doesn't matter to us. Like that. And we can't see it once the battery goes dead, so it's like a time-limited treasure chest. I can't see them being that kind. Okay, I'm going to stay here and work on figuring out the password. Miss Sarah, tell me if you find any clues. I shouldn't get too hopeful, but without hope, I can't think positive. Until the battery runs out, maybe so we'll be able to think positive, too. It's hard to see in the dark, but there are bookshelves. They've got proper covers, but they're all blank notebooks on the inside. KG was saying there might be a meaning to the ordering of the books, though. AG came here, too? Yeah, he, he, he's a homeless twink, so it's like... And he's also a job hopper, so it's like, how do we know that you know how to hack? What, what, what if you just get everyone killed, you stupid, you, you stupid twink? Man, if only Mishima had gotten to smoke that cigar. But it was a fake cigar. Oh. The painting called itself Meister shows no signs of moving again. Yeah, this place here is where the gun minigame was. Everybody, there were a bunch of dummies and then four people sat down. Red room is still locked. Here, wipe off with this. Thank you very much. Damn, puppet. As if you're even gonna get a change of clothes. You too. Kana looked at me with very surprised eyes. They weren't the trusting eyes she, she'd she had before. I... I lied to Kana. Hey, I tried to tell her the truth. Okay, game? I tried to tell her the truth, game. Yeah, we... KG needs to do everything first because he has his arm out to vibe check everything, you know? Because of that lie, I deeply wounded Kana's heart. Sister killer. It's all because Miley said that awful thing. Hey, Sarah, you think you could look for something Kana could wear? No problem. Hey, hey, Joe. Joe sits alone, hanging his head. Wants to be left alone, huh? Joe, can we talk a little? Jeez, didn't I tell you to leave me alone? I guess I'm just nosy. Hey, Sarah, do you really think KG's a cop? Eh? Joe, have you been doubting it the whole time? Uh, I mean, I just wanted your opinion, Sarah. Based on how weird and shifty and and, and all that that KG is, I think I want... Like, as, as, as a player, like, I know more of what's going on with all the characters, including KG. I think at this point, though, Sarah might have a reason to think that he isn't completely truthful. For real? What makes you think so? It, it's just a hunch, I guess? I feel like no policeman acts like that. Well, there's cops in plain clothes. I just don't think it's good to suspect just... Huh? So you do believe him, Joe? Me? I can't think there's someone siding with the kidnappers among that bunch. Huh? 
Now that's strange. Wasn't Joe the first one to suggest there was? Long con ba eye bags. <laughs> the more I try to believe, the more suspicious I get. Listen, Sarah, could you look into KG a little? Me? Joe, I'm not a doctor. How would I do that? Nah, sorry, pretend, yeah, pretend like I never asked. Because he wants to believe, he suspects. One thing's for sure, it's better if we know more about each other. For my own survival, too. Sarah? It's nothing. What am I thinking? Leave it to me, Joe. You, you serious? <laughs> you, you serious? Yeah, he, he has Joseph hair if Joseph was a twink. And he has a, he has a little dog looking thing in his pocket. I don't understand why. Smoke weed every day. You know how I said I like to imagine the stream of commentary is just the character thinking and speaking? Sarah just walks by going smoke weed. Okay, okay, something did change. Sarah, wh what? Kana is sitting in the chair. This is a doll? I can't see the parts hidden under clothes, but everything seems disturbingly detailed. The doll's hand is written, please use as you wish. Yikes. As I wish? Well, I need to get Kana new clothes, so... Even the clothes look exactly the same. Stripped off the doll's clothes. Alright, even if it's a doll, it just feels awkward to just leave it here. I placed Kana's doll in a, in a discreet spot. Sorry, Miss Doll. Okay, eventually after searching everywhere like three times, I finally found the solution. There, you found anything Kana could wear? I found this in the blue room. What? Ain't this the exact same uniform? Creepy! Why the hell they've got stuff like this prepared? Thank you very much. Kana, she looks even more feeble. I don't think Kana wants me to touch her, really. Kana. Oh, Kana moved away from me with a start. Hey, Kana! Easy now, what's up? I'm sorry. Please don't be nice to me anymore. I'm afraid of having hope. Oh. Oh. Kana went running off. Sarah, hey, what's the deal? I'm not gonna lie to her about, you know. I'm scared. I'm sure Reiko will tell me I should have told the truth then. But I... Sarah, look me in the eye. Don't sit there and brood over crap. Uh? Talk to me. Are you just not listening to what I say? I understand. Mishima said that? Cut it out. Don't say that shit. Did you mean to hurt her? Of course not, right? Sure, Mishima was the first to lie, and I don't know if that was right or not. But guess what? There was hope in Kana's eyes. You know how hard it is to show hope to a person a person whose heart has been snapped? Damn it. Why? Why'd I go calling Mishima a nutty professor? Reiko, guess it ain't fair to decide he's no good just because he's a man. I get the, sti the sitch now. I have not heard somebody say sitch in so long. It's what we do now that's important, right? Yes. Kana's one thing, but I'm worried for now, too. Yeah. Was there just a figure there? I'm gonna shoot you with my non-existent bullets because I use them all. The lights again! Who the fuck? What in the world is happening? Call out for someone. Is somebody there? I'm uneasy about acting alone. I might want to head back for now. I turned around and found the door had shut. It won't open. I've been locked in. Notes of some kind are scattered about. What's this note? 6.6, .6, Alice Yabusame. 
5.3, Ranmaru Kageyama. <gasps> oh my god, the best setter in the world! 4.9, Megui Sasahara. 3.0, Kazumi Mishima. So we have one, one name that we recognize and not any of the others. Who the fuck is Ranmaru? Is that a Danganronpa character? I don't think, I don't know. What's this note? Professor Mishima's name is on this, along with some people I don't know. Hmm? Alice Yabusame? I'll hold on to this. Obtained torn paper. It's a bottle. There's water inside. Obtained bottle. Fucking escape room bullshit. Oh, here's a box. There's a box on top of the bookcase that looks like it'd need both hands to carry. Ugh, just barely too high to reach. Is there anything I can use to get a boost? Oh, let's set the candle. I'm stupid. Should I light this candle? Yes, I should. The lighter ran out of fuel. Oh, okay. The covers look proper, but they're all blank on the inside. It's not exactly polite, but I'll step on the books to get to the box on top. Okay. This'll do. What's this? What's that? A pile of books stable enough to stand on. There's a digital clock in the back of the bookcase. It stopped at 28.75. Wait, what? 28.75? Let's look inside. Obtained two needles. Should we stab the teddy bear? No. Oh, 15 would be three. It's 24 hours, you can say that's 4 a.m. And then that's 75, right? Hmm, very weird, very weird. As the pendulum started to move, something stuck. Something stuck inside fell out. Obtained a tool, Phillips screwdriver. Specifically a Phillips screwdriver. Specifically a Phillips screwdriver. A box that has a lid affixed with screws. It'll probably be open with a flathead screwdriver. I don't have that tool though. What? It's creepy, but I feel kind of bad. I'll wipe with the other paper I picked up that doesn't seem very useful. The bear's tears stopped. Hmm, something came out of its mouth. Obtained a flathead screwdriver. <gasps> oh, God! Oh, if I jammed a tool between the tiles, I bet I can open it up. Oh, okay. Opened up the floor. A red liquid spreads beneath the floor. I would prefer to avoid touching the liquid. Obtained a tool, nail puller. How does that float? Oh, whatever, I don't care. I don't care. Okay, I have all four tools I need. I'll remove these, all right. Remove to the painting. The wall. A single tall locker. I'm getting a bad feeling. Just stay calm, Sarah. I'll open it. Ah! Yeah! Man. Help! What the fuck? Ack! What? Uh, um... What should I do? Are you alright? He's not conscious. What should I do? Should I run before he wakes up? I can't. I don't know if he's a good person, but I said, but he said help. Then I'll take him with me. At great length, I got the man on my shoulder. Wow, fucking Giga Chad. Fucking five foot five high school girl carrying a full grown man. What do I do with all this bullshit, my inventory? Ah, Sarah. Wait, what the? What's that? He suddenly fainted as soon as he saw me. Joe, give me a hand. Got it, let's carry him to the others. That was the plan. Hey, what the hell's with that guy? He lost consciousness. I did know nothing. I did know nothing. Have someone, buddy, who will know, who, who'd know, check him. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Kutaro, you, you giant motherfucker. You can't carry him? Hmm, Sarah, is that? Huh, what? the hell is this about? That guy on your shoulder! Lend me a hand, please! You see! I told them what happened in the red room. Relax, he's just fainted. Who in the world is this guy? He's got a collar! A collar. 
Aha, he's on our side. Would be nice, as the friendly neighborhood policeman, though. I'm worried about how we haven't seen him before. That's true, he was in the red- was he in the red room this whole time? Kirby being eight inches tall is funny because it means that King Dedede is just like the size of a normal emperor penguin. It'll be hard to figure out his situation until he wakes up. As long as he doesn't move, should be fine. Once he's up, let's leisurely question him. This reminds me of a Scrubs gag where they were carrying somebody and they kept slamming their head on every single door frame so that they were dead by the time they got them to the medical treatment. <laughs> It's like you're just carrying this motherfucker and just bonk, 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 and Katie's like, yeah, no, he's dead. <laughs> As I felt a bit of relief, my attention unavoidably turned toward the situation in the room. Uh, KG, are now and Gein still... Yeah, still the same as ever. They haven't moved an inch. Hurts me, hurts me to see, too. KG, might you want to investigate? Well, yeah... It's hard, but somebody's got to do it. And I just so happen to be a pro. Though this is my first time investigating a body I once talked to. It is hard for you after all, huh? Dummy? Now has got it a million times worse. Losing somebody she respects. Man. Uh, um, is there someone you respect, Keiji? Maybe there was. A message for those in the room. Please exit the room quickly to allow for retrieval of the corpse. Retrieval of the corpse? D Don't be ridiculous! I won't! I won't give the professor to anyone! Defiance will not be tolerated. Beginning fog dissemination. That gas again! No! Stop! Please stop! The professor isn't dead at all! Oh my god, now... With that, no now took part of Mishima and put it in the box Kyutaro had brought. She's carrying his head in a box? Ugh. What? What are you doing, Meow? You shouldn't do that, Wolf. Please get out of my way. Now brushed the other side and took off running. Hold on, Meow. Gein, don't wait. Now this is no good. Sarah Joe, let's give chase. Please, now's lost her cool, so treat her carefully. Well, the box originally had the doll lady's head in it. Like, the doll lady, we ha we basically assembled her body, and then she stood up and then killed one of us, you know? And laughed at it, you know? So, like, the box is designed to have a head in it. It's just that we put, we put, now, now put Mishima's head in it. It's like, ugh, ugh. Huh? Where'd she go? No way, did she go up the stairs? Yutaro isn't here! Did he go to the second floor? What do we do? I'll search down here, you two look upstairs. Please, Keiji. Gotcha. Come back right away if you find her, Sarah. Let's hurry. This is the second floor, eh? Lots of doors. Where could she have gone? A red sp door. A row door. A mirror door. A yellow sp door. Large iron bars block the passage. She's not here. A statue of what looks like a penguin. I'm not a penguin. Huh? <laughs> Put hot water in the bottle. A row of mirrors. There's a small sauna in the darkness. It's not warm. Gein! B Big Sis Sarah! Help, Meow! I was looking for Big Sis now! An iron cage? How can we... Ah, uh, I wouldn't go touching that. E ah, Big Sisera! Geen! It's sinking lower and lower, meow! No! Woof! I'm scared! Help me, Big Sisera! Think! I have to think! Keiji, please! Hold the other side! Get 
me out of here! Keen! The cage stopped, completely buried in the ground. Ah! Keen! It's not budging! What should I... There, maybe? Huh? Yep, it's a ladder. This way, Sarah. Uh, what? This appears to be a computer screen. I'm lousy with machines. Something's written here. Birdcage game. Free the bird, hostage, in the cage. Hold down the green switch to raise output to maximum. Don't let your guard down. Wicked masks will come kill the, those pressing the switch. Shine holy light on the masks and wait for an opportunity to keep holding. Er, uh, so we just have to hold down this button? But if masks appear, let go and shine holy light? Grabs you by the forehead! <laughs> you mean by the five head. Wonder what light it means. Ah, there's a flashlight below the machine. Ah, that'd be our holy light. Picked up the flashlight. Hold down the green button while the masks aren't watching. What was, what was that it? And when they appear, repel them, right? The green switch, should I press it? What? Looks like it's starting. killed myself. Ah. How are they even killing us? Are they biting our heads off? Like what? How, how do they hurt us? Woo! Can he be freed now? Hmm, the flashlight stopped working too. Oh well. Gein, can you open it up and come down? Gein? I bet that was scary. It's okay now. Eiji picked up the trembling Gein and set him down. Big says Sarah. Gein dove into my chest, of course. Gein, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> now, let's go. No now, huh? Seems the second floor was a bust. Nope, Joe found her on the first floor. Speaking of Joe, right, I made him that promise. Even policemen get bad luck sometimes, huh? Sure isn't great, is it? Maybe I'll have to retire. Urk, guess I'll just dodge the question if I beat around the bush. Uh, come to think of it, KG, earlier you said there was someone you looked up to. Did I say that? Yes. Do you not want to talk about it? <laughs> You're really as sharp as a tack. Was means it was someone in his past. I want to know more about you, KG. Huh? Now that's strange. Trying to evade the question again? <laughs> Got it. I'll do this. If we survive the main game thing, I'll tell you. Huh? So you're saying we're really going to do the main game? Doubt it'd be easy to avoid. These people aren't going to allow that. And once it begins, everyone will be serious. Interesting how you think that that's what's gonna happen, KG? You, you don't think that there's a way for us to escape, huh, buddy? Hmm? And myself? I don't want to die either. KG. I'm disillusioned. That's tacky of you, isn't it? Bet you'll get to see even tackier, more d despicable parts of us adults. Maybe we'll all come to hate each other. But if you survive regardless and you're still curious about me, I'll be fine with telling you and you alone. I'll definitely look for a way to sidestep the main game. An ice sculpture. Why is it not melted? Flowers are arranged in the vase. Obtained flower. A painting of a man shot to death. What the fuck? Sparkling mirror that just reflects me. Maybe I'm a little tired. A blurry merely mirror only vaguely reflects me. To reflect the same image in both mirrors, I need either a twin or a life-size doll that looks just like me. Flowers arranged in a vase. 
These scales are stuck in place and can't be moved. There's a painting on the back, too. flour. Okay. I'll pour the hot water on it. Ice sculpture melted into a puddle. Yeah, I'm gonna go check out this other room. I feel like it happened in this one because it was coming from my right ear. I'm not a penguin. Like, see, I can't, I can't flip. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, yeah, no, I know what you mean now, actually. Now that I, now, now I understand. Now I understand, okay. <laughs> How the fuck does that happen? What? No water. Wait a minute, I think I know what we might be able to do. Now let's go to the red room. Aha! So look at the bathroom, bottom of the bath. Stop at the bottom of the bath? Small and heavy, okay. Oh! Light bulbs. Can't reach it? doll replicas. Wasn't there the Kana doll in that one room? Uh, I have to go to the bottom floor for the puzzle now. Okay. All right. I have to go to the bottom floor now. I hid it behind one of these, right? I guess I'm not actually getting the Kana doll then. So? So it was lying face down in the darkness. Ah! It's okay, he's breathing. Hey, get a hold of yourself. So his body is limp. Sarah, check the surroundings. R right. Keen, could you look at outside the room? Nothing on the desk. The laptop that was here is gone. While looking under the desk, I saw a green glow toward the back. I should have saved, but I didn't, so... I grabbed the card. Sacrifice. Sarah. I quickly returned to the car to where it was. S so, you've come too. Did he see that? Ugh! Ow! Did I pass out? You got whacked in the back of the head. Doesn't seem to have caused bleeding, though. That's awful. Who would do that? Ugh! I've been had. The laptop's gone. It must have been stolen. I didn't figure anything out, not the password or what data was on it. Oh well, it must have been inconvenient for somebody, so somebody used the confusion to steal it. Somebody on the first floor. Who could that be? Hold up, Joe's searching the first floor. We shouldn't be hasty just yet. We'll round everyone up. Uh, we should take the time to sort things out. Is there someone malicious in our midst? I don't know what's going on. Hey, Miss Sarah, were you looking at something earlier? I don't know. What are you talking about? Huh, I see. Hey, it's Kai! You reappeared finally! You just disappeared somewhere and now you're back. Oh, Miss Sarah and company. Kai! Yes, I am Kai. Is something the matter? We were just talking about all meeting up. Come to think of it, Joe was saying to come gather in the bar. Huh? The lights are restored, so I... So at last I can move. Shall we all go together? Sarah! Joe, did you find now? She, she wasn't on the second floor? You mean she's up and vanished? Oh no! Looking around the room, I found almost everyone but now. I found almost everyone but now had already assembled. Just what is going on? Er, well, now everybody calm down. Erm, um, who is the person tied up there? 
<clears throat> such an annoying bunch. Hey, it's this guy, man in stripes. You all plus this now makes everyone, right? Ah! Hey, you woke up. Remove these ropes, so long as you don't want me to crush you. This guy's a little riotous. That's troublesome. Heh, <laughs> all chicken, are ya? I might have brought in someone dangerous. Um, do you have a second? Hmm? You. Uh, yeah! Why is she walking around freely? Hurry, hurry, someone capture her! What? What's this all of a sudden? I know, oh yes I do. This girl is bad news. C calm down, could you start at the beginning? Could you drop that weird tone of yours? <laughs> Look at me getting so dis disconcerted. Is this guy playing a joke on us? Listen, we don't have time to spend on you, but I'll allow you a little time for inquiries. We'll decide whether to untie you after that. Say again? His cock is the ball and chains! <laughs> hmm. Do not try to act superior, blonde rascal! Ooh, scary. You handle the question questioning, Sarah. What? I'm doing that too? Mr. Policeman's shaking over here. Ugh. Blonde rascal and sadistic pudding woman. <laughs> Threat. Pacify. Inquiry. Questioning. Just so it's clear, me and you are equals. Don't think I'll obediently listen to you. Threat. Inquire. Pacify. What should I ask him? Please, tell me your name. And if I say no, mm, you won't tell me. I need to calm him down a little bit. You look dissatisfied. What do you want to say to us? I'm telling you I want to say nothing. Can't you be calm, Mr. Stripey? A rather rude nickname, Lopside Hair. <laughs> Such a rude person. Okay, I guess we need to threaten. Threaten coolly and logically. If you refuse to talk, we have no obligation to untie you. But wait, they're really chafing me, these ropes. I get it, I'll tell you a little. Seems he's willing to talk now. Please tell me your name. It's a proper for you to give your name first. I'm Sarah Cheetowin. Just Sarah is fine. I am G Gonbi Yamada. Call me Gonbi. Swone old-fashioned name. As if yours isn't Cubetaro Hamburger. That's Cutaro Burgerberg to you. <laughs> Cubetaro! Cubetaro! Cubetaro. Cutaro plays Minecraft. <laughs> Please tell me your occupation. My occupation is, er, well, I'm a salary man. Dressed like that? Er, that looks like a prison uniform. Fool, Japanese uniforms don't use this pattern, and the pajamas are vertically striped. True, I was imprisoned for a somewhat long time after borrowing from people a bit too much. Larceny, then. Surely even you've accidentally perma-borrowed a video game or two, right? That said, I was doing my time diligently as a model prisoner. And yet suddenly, I was brought to this place. So even this person is a victim? I know his name and occupation now. I'll try asking something else. Why were you hiding? Perma borrowed, <laughs> AKA stolen. Why were you hiding the whole time? Why word it like that? How much do you mean to mock me? What do you know, what do you know about the kidnappers? Such a pest, making me answer everything. Very well, I suppose I can tell you a little more. Surprisingly, he seems to recognize... Recognize he's dubious. I'm glad he feels like talking. Finally, holy shit. What do you know about the kidnappers? Hmm, five zero information. Before I was brought here, I had rare plans for a visitation. But when I entered the visiting room, no one came. By the time I started to find it odd, my senses were already fading. When you think about it, that's astounding. The organization behind this can free a prisoner? If 
Gandhi is telling the truth, at least. Why are you hiding the whole time? When I awoke, I thought to myself, yikes, this is a big yikes, indeed. Some vocabulary on this guy. <laughs> the speaker said something about a trial, but it was all foolish. I had already committed myself to hiding. I locked the red door and lay in wait for a long time. Just like a tiger waiting for its prey. So he got scared and holed up. However, several times I did hear nearby sounds too dreadful for this world. What were they? Don't try to feign innocence. Huh? Just put your hand to your chest and think. Has Gandhi gotten some misconception about me? What I'm most curious about so far is those sounds. This is going nowhere! If you don't answer me properly, I'll do something terrible to you! <laughs> Something terrible, terrible. Do you really have the guts? Something you want to say to us? Sarah Cheetowin, how, how many have you laid hands on? What, what do you mean? I know your crimes. It's no use playing dumb. Ooh, something terrible. I'll do this. Do what? Don't tell me you'll sh shoot. Hold on. Haste makes waste, you know? <clears throat> I'll tell you what you wish to know. All right, I think I can finally ask him. I pointed my empty gun at him. Sounds, what did you hear? The sounds of a gunfight. Say what? My ears caught it. Nine gunshots, as many as nine people died. Ah, uh, that would have been Russian roulette. Oh. I, I waited for the shots to cease and opened the door to see the situation. And there she stood, the killer wielding a gun. And she stubbornly chased me! Sarah Cheetowin, it was you! Er, so you were scared and hid, got in a panic because of the gunshots, then saw Sarah with the revolver, foamed at the mouth, and fainted. Don't give such a biased summary, guys! The more I learn, the more unfortunate he seems. <laughs> but I can't imagine he's a villain. Did you hear what I said? Who would assist the likes of... I told him our story so far, and about the Russian roulette game. Say again? So all this was a misunderstanding caused by my too superior insight? Er, uh, yes, that's right. Understood. Untie me. You gonna help us? Ha 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 ha, you're all fools. Who would assist someone they don't even know after hearing about the main game? Someone among you will surely turn traitor, and only soft-hearted fools will die. Joe, what are you doing? Joe removed Gombi's robes. What is this meant to be? I've given up on suspecting my allies. Huh? I just can't imagine it, that there's a bad guy in our midst. ha <laughs> ha Given up on thinking, eh? Oh well, as thanks for untying me, I'll let you go without retaliation. So, no will to help out. I refuse, but I won't interfere. So long. Man, being called cheesy sure is making me embarrassed. To con in contrast to Joe feeling awkward, the mood seemed to be lightening. It felt like we could be unified again. But I couldn't forget. The person who attacked So is out there. Now then, should we go search for now altogether? Y yeah, that's it. Let's split up and search. So sorry, I'm still not feeling great. Is it okay if I rest? Ah, uh, hell. Geen, Kana, you guys rest here too. Uh, okay. Hey guys, do we do we, do we take do we take the kid? If I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if I want to leave Kana here with So because they're both like. If there's three midgets, at least they can fight, you know. But if there's two midgets, I kind of I kind of. Um, let's go back up and take a look at the puzzle again. Oh, Geen. Don't be scared. You'll be okay with me. I know, Geen. Want a piggyback ride? What? No, I'm going to give you a piggyback ride. Why are we competing over that? Two symmetrical rooms, huh? Seems like you're kind of puzzle, Sarah. Can't imagine now would be. Want to ride on my shoulders? Sure, please do. Why didn't he say that the first time we walked up here? Hey, I was half joking, but all right. Obtained light bulb. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. You shouldn't have brought it on yourself, KG. I wonder. Piggyback, please. Well, it's only logical. 
Looks like it's a spa. Our enemies offer some pretty good amenities. That's true. If there's hot water, we could get enough moisture to live for days. Feels like you could stay positive while the whole world's ending, Sarah. Could also just talk to some of the other characters. Here's Kai. She didn't fall down this large hole, surely. Come to think, where's this hole even go to? I would like to believe she's safe. Uh, what? Wog, what's this? Isn't this me? Oh, right, we have to... We have to put Sarah in the mirror, and then... And now we have to put the Sarah doll into the mirror. Now I remember. It's a spinning image, like I'm looking into a mirror. Oof, our enemies got some wild hobbies, huh? It's eerie how detailed it is. Yet I can't look away from that intric intricateness. When was this made? You couldn't pull this off without a lot of long, detailed observation. Who could accomplish such a thing? What's up? Um... Keiji, I want, your, I want to know your perspective. What do you think about Kai? Guy's no ordinary person, for sure. His eyes are dead, for one, just like Mr. Policeman here. <laughs> Do you think he's a bad person? Dunno? Everybody's got good parts and bad parts, right? What an eye-searing color. Hmm, if you want to, to search, do as you please. I won't assist, but I won't impede either. Okay. Sure thing. The blurry mirror only vaguely reflects me. I guess I'll put the doll at a distance so it reflects the whole body. Place the Sarah doll in front of the mirror. Beer droplets stuck to it so it only shows a blurry reflection of me. I stood in front of the mirror. Now everything in the room is symmetrical. Something outside the room moved. There's something on the floor. Hmm? Huh, a key. It's got a tag. The key to the kitchen, eh? The kitchen is the only place on the first floor we haven't been. Since the key's here, now shouldn't have been able to get in without breaking the window. But we should check just in case. Yep, best to be simple and methodical in your investigation, Sarah. Obtained the kitchen key. There's a locked black door on the left side. The doorknob has a dial to enter a number on it. I'll use this key. Now You can now enter the kitchen. What? How did she get in here? The blue refrigerator is empty. There's some storage space for cookware. But I don't see anything resembling cookware. Huh? What's in this box? Please use as you wish. This is the most obvious fucking thing ever. What's this box? Please use as you wish. 361802. Hmm. Obtained long, narrow box. Okay, yeah, I don't know. That's now. Please, stay away. Hey there, settle down now. <laughs> you especially, please. Okie dokie. What did you come here for? Please leave, Sarah. Now is really riled up. We're on your side, we won't do anything. What in the world happened? As if you don't know that, I won't, I won't hand over the professor. Now doesn't want him to be taken away. Do a pincer maneuver? <laughs> what? I locked the kitchen door from the inside. What? What are you doing? Now no one can enter. Will you talk to us? You really didn't come here intending to take the professor? Right. Please believe us. To the two, Sarah, I'll believe you. Well, can we come a little closer? You put your back to the door and stay quiet, please! Roger that. Sarah, why did you come here? I was hungry. We were worried for you, so we came looking. I was afraid what the kidnappers might do if you resisted them. Sarah, you're right. I'm sorry that I've just caused you trouble. I've been hiding here the whole time with the lights turned off. Since if the kidnappers find me, they'll take him. 
Does this room have a light switch? Did no one else come? During that time, did anyone come by? No, no one. You're the first ones. I figured as much. If someone had entered, there'd be an uproar. At this point, I think we can talk properly. Now, um, it's hard to say things like this, but... I understand. I understand that what I'm doing is wrong. I've caused all of you trouble. I shouldn't be acting like this forever, should I? What should I do? I just have to persuade her. Now, did you know that stairs to going to the second floor appeared? Huh? You don't mean an exit? No, the rooms there are just, just as full of tricks. In the process of searching for you, Gin got trapped in the cage. Gin? We were able to save him, but he was so shocked he can barely speak still. That's my fault, isn't it? I know how you feel now, but you can't be exposing the people who are alive to danger, too. The people who are alive? That wording! Professor Mishima! Professor Mishima is dead now. What? No! That's right, of course. I kept questioning him in the dark, but the professor didn't say a word. No matter how busy he was, the professor I knew always answered my questions with a smile. I was in the middle of painting it. A portrait of the professor that I meant to give him as a gift. But I can't give it to him anymore, can I? And what about it? Huh? He must have taught you so many things about art, about studying, about many more important things. Who knows, Professor Mishima best out of anyone. Now, you should make it back alive and finish that painting yourself. I... I want to paint it. Until I finish that portrait, I can't die. Right. It's sad. But this... this box... I'll let go of it now. The door is open. You should go see Reiko. Because she was the most worried. Yes. Sorry about what I said, Mr. Policeman. Well, we better give our all, too. Right. A box with a suspicious lock. Er, well, Sarah, if you don't want to peek inside, you can look away. Inside must be the professor. No, I'm a good girl. No, searching every nook and cranny is the only thing I can do. <laughs> the rest of us don't really give a shit. <laughs> huh? There was nothing in the box. What's going on here? No, but that's about it. It's totally empty. Was now dearly protecting a box that had nothing in it? Where did the professor in here go? The most logical conclusion is probably this. Now is still hiding it. Don't tell me. Is now actually still hiding it on her? Something that big. There's no way, right? I guess so. Getting hard to tell what's the truth. Even as far as Mishima's death. Huh. <laughs> nah, I just felt like saying that. Miley, wasn't it? If Mishima could revive like her, just sticking his head on, I'm sure now to be glad. Do you think Miley's really a doll? Well, I mean, we literally watched ourselves fucking Voltron Miley together, so why would, like, we know that she's made of artificial materials. Oh, you're right. <laughs> it's out of the question. Nope, no way she's a doll. Well, no point in worrying about it. Let's just keep trucking along and pursue the truth. Oh, okay, everyone's here. Sarah! Reiko! Heard you found now! You did good, thanks! Uh, I'm sorry for worrying you. Don't sweat it, especially because you're sick. But now, we're your buds, right? Don't take off anymore, okay? But buds y You don't want to be? If my makeup's scary, I can take it off. Th that's not it! I'm... Very happy. Alright. 
Woof! Gene, thank you. I won't put you in a scary situation again. I I wasn't scared, meow. Black door open. Black room. Black as night. A large blackboard with nothing written. An electric paper shredder. It's a machine for shredding documents and such. There are lots of shredded pieces inside. How about it, Sarah? You see anything of interest? This? Huh? Just garbage. Probably just a waste of time to check it all, huh? Hmm, recreating the documents from all this paper would be very time-consuming. I'll try searching it, meow. Gein. Haha, <laughs> Gein seems all fired up. I'll watch him till he's done. White door is 612. All right. The white door open. White. What? There's nothing in the trash can. There's a handcuff at the end of a chain. I wonder what this is. Plus, the air in this room feels heavy. Well, this place is no good. How do you mean that? Hmm. I can sense a bad feeling somehow, so please tell me. I'm betting somebody died here. I can faintly smell blood. Ah, and since there's dust, it was wiped a little while ago. I'd put time around... Yeah, maybe the first trial? Once I became cognizant of it, I understood. The unremovable raw stench of blood. The air that repulsed my instincts. It's disgusting. I want to throw up. Don't imagine it! I'm saying trust in your friendly policeman. Hey guys, did you know I'm a policeman? It's been planted in me, the fear of death. Wee -woo -wee. <laughs> hey, Miss Sarah. So, and... Aren't you tired? It's not good to work too hard. You should come... You should take some rat time to rest. Hmm... I can't rest, not while everyone else is working hard. I'd say rest is a valuable option in its own right. Still, you never know who will come attacking you, so I know how you feel, Miss Sarah. Miss Sarah, I don't think you should go to the first floor on your own. But... Er, hey. Joe's your best friend, right? Eh? Yes, he can be a bit stupid in ways, but he's a really good guy. Uh-huh. Miss Sarah, you trust Joe, then. So what about Joe? Miss Sarah. So came very close to me and spoke in a whisper. Do you remember that vote? Uh, you mean the vote where you got no, uh, light? Where you got no votes? AKA you didn't vote for yourself? You piece of shit? Excluding my own vote, Mishima got three votes. So and now got zero votes, and everyone else got one vote each. But of course, we thought that choice held no meaning. You see, I voted for Joe. Do you know what that means? Sorry, that must have bewildered you. Here's the problem, so. A bunch of people got one vote. So if you voted for Joe, that doesn't mean Joe voted for Mishima. He could have voted randomly on Keiji or some shit. And then Keiji could have randomly voted on somebody else. So this doesn't make any fucking sense. So, what's the matter, Joe? Wag, Sarah, you startled me. What are you looking at? This was inside my pocket. That's... It was a photo of me, Joe, and Ryoko. We were at a cafe, having a fun chat together. Do you miss Ryoko? Yeah. Man, I miss her. Sure enough, it's unthinkable for me to suspect Joe. So, he must just be... 
seeing shadows where there aren't any. Suddenly, I thought back. Joe got involved in this because he came to my house. If he'd gone straight home, wouldn't he be living life as normal right now? How late a realization is that? Yeah, butterfly effect is crazy. I was so focused on myself. I didn't consider Joe pers Joe I didn't consider Joe's perspective for a second. I had my first proper date with Ryoko that day. <laughs> I was so nervous I couldn't talk at all. Somehow we ended up talking about you, Sarah. Eh? Do you remember that time you tried to sit on a traffic cone and fell on your butt? I couldn't stop laughing. Why were you trying to sit on a traffic cone, Sarah? What? You promised me you wouldn't tell anyone! Ha 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 ha! It sure got the conversation lively! So then I sort of asked her why she decided to go out with me. Huh? What do you mean, why? I mean, you didn't know me that much, yeah? Well, no friend of Sarah's could be a bad person, you know? Ryoko and me made an agreement. If anyone makes Sarah cry, we'll make them cry. So, like, stop looking like you're on the verge of tears! I mean, Joe, you're... If I make you cry, Sarah, that means Ryoko's gonna sock me, right? <laughs> you're right, Joe. I'd better have you protect me. Yeah! Whenever I see a traffic cone, I'll exterminate it. Erase that from your memory. I mean it. <laughs> I'll rest a little bit and then get back to searching. <clears throat> Sarah Chidowin, there was a noise on the second floor. What happened? Huh? I'll go look. I'll go look. Gonbi, you... Hmm, I will remain here. I'll leave him alone. I'm not gonna lie, what I was thinking the numbers said... I think that the meaning of the number was like, like this many unique interactions before door opens. So maybe going downstairs and then having the conversation with Joe counted as two unique things? The red door is open and shines a bright white light. The counter above the door is zero. Don't tell me the people on the second floor went in here. It'd be dangerous to enter. I'll just take a peek. I carefully stuck only my head into the room. And then someone shoved me from behind. What? With that, I lost consciousness. Huh? Miley is pictured on the screen. It's the sadistic pudding woman, yay. Hee <laughs> hee, everyone, how are you feeling? Miley! Where are the others? This is a pre-recorded video, so I'm afraid I can't answer any questions. Allow me to thank you truly for taking part in the main game. Main game? You may fill yourselves with food before the game, or form a strategy. Use it however you please. What? What is she saying? Those who successfully beat the main game can proceed to the next floor! Hooray! Note that those who do not exit their waiting rooms once the main game starts will die as a penalty. Do keep that in mind, ihihihi. <laughs> the next floor? I will now explain the rules of the main game. Everyone, please take the card you obtained while exploring and touch it to this screen. You have your card, yes? Now, I will begin to explain. The basic rules are profoundly simple. One person will be selected by majority vote, and that person will die. That is all. What are you calling simple? The vote will be split into two parts. Through the first round, the, the preliminary vote, half the total will be chosen as candidates. Currently, 11 are alive, so this will be five. A final vote will be held using these, deciding the ultimate victim. In short, the victim is decided by gradually narrowing it down from 11 people to five to one. Of course, even those not chosen as candidates will participate in the vo vote itself. Please, do kill all of your own vo volitions. Stop it. Stop this. However, there are holes in this game. We do not care for intentless games of luck. Such worthless acts as using rock, paper, scissors to fairly decide the victim are forbidden. And so, everyone, 
Please take out your cards. Cards. There are four roles given by the cards. First is the commoner. This is a meaningless card with no power at all. The second is the key master. And oh my, it's a terrifying roll indeed. For if chosen as the victim, everyone will perish. Keymaster, that's my card. Third is the Sage. By holy divination, they know who the Keymaster is. A very lucky roll. Congratulations to its owner. Fourth is the Sacrifice. Amazingly, this curious card allows the person to survive only if chosen as the victim, which means if they're not chosen, they die. However, there are positives as well. The Sacrifice alone gets two votes, and also, if they win, they can escape alive with a person of their choice. Well, but in that case, all the others will perish, so good luck. There is one key master, sage, and sacrifice each. All the rest are commoners. Committed it committed it to memory, yes. So at a minimum, two people will die. Everyone, do your best to not be one of them. No way. I felt like I heard something at that moment. The loud sound of someone fainting in the room over. Our heads can fly off at their single whim. There might be not any exit. We'll just be toyed with and killed until they're satisfied. In that case, then we're just going to... It's a strange thing. I'd felt death was near again and again. Maybe there was no chance left to be afraid. I don't want to die. Even at this point, I want to keep going. Haha! -ha, I'm coming to hate my own positivity. I'll do whatever I can. If I mess up, everyone will die. This worst of cards seems to be pushed up, pushing up me on. I only drank a little water. And the time arrived. It's now time. Please head to the grounds via the door near the screen, everyone. I wish you luck. I -hi -hi. Ah -ha -ha. In front of me were strange desks, about waist height. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here we are. KG. You guys, that was fast. Ugh. All of you, so pale. Why is this happening? Ah, so you'll take part after all. Miley, you! Ahaha, ah, please take a good look at those desks, everyone. A rather interesting setup, isn't it? Hehehe, <laughs> they are reverse hourglasses. Most curious indeed. When these hourglasses have all reached the top, the discussion will end. You have 70 minutes until the preliminary vote. After that, you can discuss for 20 minutes before the final vote. Well then, shall we... shall the discussion begin? Hold up! Kana! Kana ain't here! Oh dear! So some would choose not to take part in something so enjoyable. Uh, hold on! Kana will definitely come! Time is limited. That, I that is what she chose, and that is the end of the matter. Miss Sarah, you Miss Sarah, you haven't made the wrong choice, have you? Did I make the wrong choice? Well then, let us start the main game. Everyone, stand at whichever desk you like. We were urged to head for the desks. Let the main game begin. Please, wait. Uh... Um, I'm also... Kana! You are welcomed, Kana Kizuchi. Regrets can wait until after taking part. Ihihi. <laughs> Ahaha! Let this wonderful, wonderful main game begin. Oh my god. 
candidate vote. An extremely heavy air dominates the space. He 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 he. Well, I shall go over the basic rules one more time. A total of two votes will be held, the preliminary vote in the middle of the discussion, and the final vote at the finale. Five candidates will be chosen in the preliminary vote, and one victim will be selected in the final vote. If the chosen victim is the key master, all lose and all will die. If the victim is the sacrifice, the sacrifice wins and can escape with one person of their choosing. If the victim is a commoner or sage, the chosen victim and the sacrifice will die. Ah, yes, I have left rule books on the desks. Make use of them as items, everyone. That is all. Hee hee hee. Use your time however you please. Miley quietly sat down in a chair. And in dead silence, the main game began. Clout? <laughs> They really, they really used clout even in the original and not in the Steam version. That is not just the Steam version. There's just one thing I want to say up front. Thanks. Well, it's just a short one. I'm nervous, but I'll say it. You see, I'm the key master. Oh, you motherfucker. I was unsure whether I should keep quiet, but I want to avoid us all dying, so... What is so saying? The key master is me. Really? That's the truth, ain't it? If nobody else is gonna name themselves, then yeah, I'll believe it. Burger man, why? I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna try this. I don't know, is it right for me to announce myself now? As Miley explained it, there's one key master. So is lying. I can't imagine anything else. Hmm, is that a fact? No, I'm afraid I can't believe that easily. But for the current time, so, I will trust you are the key master. Thanks, I'll do my best. Ah, well, looks like everybody's accepted it. Let's get back to the main thread. Listen, the rules, the rules written on the cards only really become important come the final vote. First of all, our priority is looking for suspicious characters. Really might be someone on the side of the kidnappers lurking, after all. I can't understand what So's thinking. But for now, I just have to focus on this discussion we're going to have. I think we're just gonna choose the most suspicious, least cooperative person. I've already settled on my pick. Huh? Curse me if you wanna. I... Gonbi, I'm voting for you. <laughs> What about it? Say what? Mwahaha! <laughs> Do what you like! D dumbass what are you talking about? That means you'll die! You're the fools, just think for a second! How do you mean that? This vote shouldn't be focused on one point. Indeed, this is the preliminary vote. If we were to unanimously vote for Mr. Gonbi, Gonbi would be our only option for the final vote. Oh man, and if Gonbi is the sacrifice of the Keymaster, we're all done for? It's not as if we're free. It's not as if we freely choose which roll cards we got, right? We were guided into picking them up. There is a possibility that the kidnappers granted the least trustworthy Mr. Gonbi a special roll for their own amusement. And now the chaos ensues. I'll watch closely as you all flail about. Damn it! Whew, this game is even more malicious than I thought. If we want to survive, we need to assemble as close to five candidates as we can. We gotta suspect five people? This is the worst. Yeah, unfortunately, if, Q if Cube Taro was in charge, everybody would be turned into meat cubes. Yeah. Hmm, already beaten at the first push? I'll make a topic for you. Sarah Chidoin, I will vote for you. Have you anything to say back? Uh? Hold on. Sarah's like our leader. What's your basis? Haha, <laughs> then why don't we discuss whether her actions are suspicious or not? 
I found it suspicious from the word go. How a mere high school girl became a leader. Sarah's almost always acted with others. She couldn't do anything suspicious, right? Doubting the others is one thing, but doubting Sarah? You're awful! Sarah! Talk back to him. Gunby's just got the wrong idea about you. Hmm, you sure have a lot of friends. Have at you, Sarah Cheetoin. I've even seen through the through to the reason why the others have submitted to you. What do you mean by that? You alone have a weapon. The only one. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. A uh, weapon? That's right! You possess all that can be called a weapon in this place, and stand supreme! You're an accursed dictator! Oh, Gonbi. I drew out a new statement. If I can refute it, even Gonbi should quiet down. Hmm? This box was in the kitchen. It says, please use as you wish, yet there was nothing inside to use. What of it? All that's left is an impression, an impression made by a kitchen knife. What? A kitchen knife? Yep, by the time Sarah checked it, it was gone. Somebody probably went and took it. The kitchen was locked the whole time, and Miss Sarah very rarely acted alone. So surely she could not have taken it. How are you staying so calm? Like, who was it? Who took the knife? Who did take the knife? It's not relevant right now. There's no need to prove everything. That's not relevant right now. How could it not be? The point I'm making is that I don't have control of all the weapons. So I didn't earn this trust by force. Erg. <laughs> That's right, I can't fall into my opponent's trap. Grr, look at you, feeling all pleased? Hmm, very well, I'll speak no more. You trusting fools can just suspect one another. Right, there's no time to celebrate. With Gon be quiet, it just means we have to talk. Ugh. <laughs> the fact that it says cloud is just hysterical. What should I say? Who should we distrust? I've resolved on an answer. Kutaro. Letting this end in silence is the most inane plan we could take. That's why I'm gonna say it. In all our searching and discussions, who were the biggest burdens and the most weak? Kana, Gein, now I'm talking about you three. Oh, fuck! Kutaro, come on. <laughs> They're children. <laughs> well, now is a, a grown-ass woman, but... You couldn't... Are you shitting me? You think you ain't gonna get picked just you just cause you got strength? Then go ahead and vote for me. What? Vote what your will tells you. If you think I'm useless, then take responsibility and kill me, Reiko. That's what I mean by resolve. Now, Kana, Gein, tell him. Use your words to prove your prove your worth. This, this is a bona fide burger moment. <laughs> Ah, uh, I, I, I searched as best I could and I found things, lots of things. K Kana, Gain, if you don't talk, it's over. Don't tell me none of y'all are thinking you'd be fine dying, right? Looks bad, Sarah. Kutaro is serious. What should I draw it out of him? That's something only you can do. Only I can. Don't tell me none of y'all are thinking you'd be fine dying, right? Sarah, I'm serious about this. If there's somebody wishing they were dead, I won't stand for it. Come out and say it. Kana... Kana... Doesn't care what happens anymore. Kana? Even if she's chosen, it's fine. Well, I'm not gonna apply that statement, because then they'll vote for her. I unless she's the sacrifice. Ooh. I searched as, be as best as I could and I found things, lots of things. I know I dragged you down, but I did give it my all. I'm begging you, please don't cut me out. Now. Now, please, you need to be calm, especially in times like this. Ah, uh, uh, sorry. Maybe she's regained a little composure? 
I searched the second floor rooms myself, but sorry, I wasn't able to find anything that seemed important. But I'm begging you, Sarah. Now stuck up for me. I want to protect her. Gein. Jutaro is not so scary. It's okay, Big Sister Sarah is here. Do you want something to say? Shh. No good. Ke Gein's keeping his silence. Come on, look at me. You can talk to me, right? Shh. Kana doesn't really mind if she's picked. Wha what? She's had enough. Kana just wants to go to her sister. Shh. Kana, don't be ridiculous. I'm just tired. Shh. You gotta be kidding. You really want to die without a peep? Please, wait. Miss Kana, are you serious? Or is this an act? Kana won't say anything else. Please do what you want. This is troubling. Miss Kana may have drawn the sacrifice card. Sacrifice? The sacrifice must be chosen to survive. Thus, they would put on a one-man show. Yet, she's got enough motive that we could believe she actually wants to die. Th then picking her for now... Then picking her for now, right? Not participating in this discussion so as to earn herself votes? I can't imagine Kana playing these sort of mind games. Unless someone suggested it to her. Everyone, let's just put the subject of Kana aside for now. Can't know her true intent, after all. First, why don't we hear from Gein and Miss Now, too, and then make our decision? So, please, don't just decide we're done here. <laughs> I just don't want to waste our time. Don't want to be scrambling before the vote, right? That's right, Sarah. You can't deny these two... You can't... You can't deny these these two time to justify themselves. Can't lunge at him. I'll back off. Sorry for being overbearing, but I do have the role of guiding everybody. I fucking hate you. <laughs> Since I'm the key master and all that. So, for now, Gein, could we get some proper statements from you? Meow. Y yeah, that's right, Gein. Be a man. Tell him what you gotta say. Meow. Meow. Gein's frightened, and it's you crude-ass men to blame. <laughs> Fuck. We've got no time. Gein, prove that you've been useful to everybody. <laughs> meow, meow. Gein is trembling. Gein, it's okay. Can you try to remember what you've seen and noticed in this place? Gein, show it to him. The amazing thing you found searching the second floor room. I don't know anything about that, Meow. What? What'd you say? Reiko, you got a fine attitude, but see here. It ain't right to go and spout lies to protect people, all right? Ugh! No, I, I tell you, I'm not lying. Somebody's gotta die in this place. Maybe it'll be you? H hold the hell up. Woof, big sis Reiko. We need to spur on Dean. Instigate. No. Gein, tell the truth and stick up for Reiko. Don't you feel bad for seeing her be insulted? I do, I do, meow, but... But... What a cowardly kid! You call yourself a man? Ooh, sniffle. It's a fucking child, dude. What are you talking about? Affirm, deny, deny, affirm. The discussion is stuck in equilibrium, failing to come to an agreement. I need to swing the needle to either side, or this balance will never collapse. One explanation of balance battles. Both speakers will give statements at the same time, but affirming or denying one's party's opinion, you can change their views. Oh, really? So is everything Reiko said a lie? N no, meow, but, but, but I didn't... Gein, you gotta be just lying, right? Big Sis Reiko's got it wrong, woof. She didn't get anything wrong. Gein, why are you being stubborn about this? I, I, I just didn't want to believe that thing, woof. I didn't want to show that thing and make everyone worry, meow. Make us worry? Don't brood over it alone. Gein, you shouldn't worry about it all alone. Mia, Big Sis Sarah. I believe you, Gein. Whatever strange thing you present, I'll handle it. Okay, Meow. Seeing Big Sis Reiko getting yelled at by the Muscle Gorilla really ticked me off, Meow. <laughs> Just so you know, I take Gorilla as a compliment. Woof, I believe you too, Big Sis Sarah. 
Yeah. So, I was trying to put together the paper scraps from the shredder thing on the second floor, meow. But then, whoa, taking a look in there, I noticed some hand-torn paper too, meow. Hey, and there, woof, it said that Big Sis Sarah was a murderer. Huh? What? What are you on about? Kutaro, please don't shout. But what's the meaning of this? I need to get out more details. But I believe in Big Sis Sarah, woof. Er, what should I ask first? Do you have it? If you have the actual letter on you, could you show it to me? Oh, yeah, I have it, Meow. Look at it, Woof. We also have our own torn piece of paper. What if Gein just coincidentally got this wrong, right? Then again, KG Detective, that makes sense. Don't know who this is. Kutaro Bergerberg, high school teacher? That doesn't make sense. But if this doesn't make sense, and, thi and, th and this doesn't make sense, does that mean Keiji isn't actually a detective and that Keiji has been lying the whole time? What's this? It feels familiar. What to do? Should I have him add that to the info, to the statement? Uh, yes. So that's important, Woof. Got it, Meow. I'll state it loud and clear, Woof. This letter, or whatever it was, was it addressed to someone else? Um, so, let me think. Yeah, it felt sort of like a list, so it didn't seem like a message, Meow. Huh, I wonder, should I have him add that info to the statement? Yep, okay, that was it. What is it, Meow? This is it. Take a look at this. It's a piece of paper I picked up. My, ma, meow? This looks just like the one you have, right? This is Gein's. Similar, woof. Totally the same, woof. If you notice, the fact that Kutaro is listed as a high school teacher is weird, too. Look at this. If you remove the left half and connect it to the piece I have... M meow? They connected, woof. <gasps> Who, who's Alice Yabusame? Reiko has the last name of Yabusame. Does that mean she's the murderer? Ronmaru Kageyama, haven't seen him. Megumi Sasahara, detective. Because Mishima is a high school teacher, we know him. They connected, woof! The tear matches up perfectly. Why is that? They were torn apart in a stack. That's it. Multiple sheets were torn all at once. If you took these sheets and stacked them like this and then tore it, it would produce these results. In other words, there were at least two of these sheets stacked together. Is that it, Woof? Since they fit together so cleanly, of course misunderstandings would happen. Yay! Thank goodness, Meow. But, you know, what are these sheets in the first place? They are creepy, aren't they? The professor's name is on here, and even some people I don't know. And whatever could be the percentages on the side be. Anyway, I proved I was useful for exploring, meow. And now I'm glad that Big Sis Sarah wasn't a murderer after... Eh? Then who is a murderer, meow? As far as this shows, that would be... That would be whoever Alice Yabusame is. Yabusame? That sounds kind of familiar, meow. There's only one person here with the last name, Yabusame. Select Reiko as Yabusame. Reiko, as I recall, you're Reiko Yabusame, aren't you? Erg! Y yeah, I'm Reiko Yabusame. And so what? J just coincidence, right? I don't know, anybody with that name. Uh-huh. Sarah, what do you think? Reiko might be an alias. 
<laughs> Hold on a sec. In the bar on the blackboard, I saw a list of people who could drink and couldn't. And it said both Reiko and Alice. Um, come to think of it, when I was searching, I found some chalk on the floor. So it's not impossible it was changed. Y you got it wrong! It's not me! Besides, handwritten pieces of paper? Anybody could make those, right? If they had a pen, sure. Oof. B big sis Reiko can't be a murderer, woof! Then, should we call it a relative's name? I- I remembered. My- my brother, it's my brother's name. Alice is your brother, not your sister? Even your excuses are becoming illogical. It ain't an excuse. Reiko, tell the truth. Believe me, I'm- I mean, I- Reiko? Sarah, help me. No, I- how do I help you? Sarah, damn it, I- I... Wait! It's me! I'm Alice, okay? <gasps> huh? <laughs> I'm Alice, I'm telling you. Reiko did nothing wrong. It's a misunderstanding. Listen, we're in the middle of a serious discussion right now. And I'm being serious too. Reiko, Reiko is my little sister. Y you for real? Couldn't hide it, huh? This guy's real name is Alice Yabusame. He's my older brother. Then the murderer, it's me. I lied about being a thief. I went to prison for killing someone. Isn't this guy some serious bad news? Yes, that's right. I am indeed a damned criminal. And Reiko cut me off as well, saying to never show my mug again. And yet, it's not even funny to think we'd reunite in this place. Me and him are total strangers at this point. I didn't want Kana and the rest being scared of me because of this guy. So when he woke up, I told him to hide our relation. Right after you went to look for now. So, that's it. Hmm, I'm a simple murderer. But Reiko is different. She's a good and proper person. That's all I wanted to say. Damn it all. So you deny any connection with the kidnappers? Right. Why I was brought here, I still don't know. Despite us talking about Gein, we got some unexpected information there. There are still many more points of interest, but there's no time. I want to hear Nao's justification soon enough. What do you think? Eh? Uh, me? <laughs> She's a good and proper murderer. <laughs> we don't have time to resolve every question. Other than Reiko and Alice, what has me curious is... But, like, the thing, the thing is that the names and occupations is that there's a bunch of people we don't know. Megumi Sasahara, detective. Keiji. What a surprise! Didn't think there'd be another detective here besides everyone's favorite. You motherfucker. As always, Keiji seems to be insisting that he's a detective, too. And I have no proof to deny it. No helping it. We should move to the next topic. Well then, Miss Now, please give us your justification. Fuck. I may have fucked up. I'm gonna make another save. I see a lot that's illogical about Now's actions. Illogical, eh? Aren't you curious what she was to what she was up to in the kitchen holding the box with Mishima? Tell me what you were doing then, Miss Now. Because of the body collection announcement, I went into a panic. I took the box and just sat and hid in the kitchen. I didn't even touch anything in the room. I know I troubled you all a lot, but I didn't want to lose him. After everyone else, I inspected the kitchen and found no signs of any trickery. Perhaps she truly was just hiding. The problem the problem is that now left the box behind. I wonder if she really was just hiding. So seems to want to imply something. I took the box and just sat hidden in the kitchen and didn't even touch anything in the room. Sitting in the dark, I asked him questions again and again. Even though even though I wouldn't get an answer. For everything else, I inspected the kitchen. No signs of trickery. Miss Sarah, you searched before before me, so you should be aware of this as well. I took the box and just sat it in the kitchen, didn't do anything. This is it! Did you really not touch anything? 
Huh? The kitchen had been locked until then. And after you left now, we obtained this long, narrow box. There was nothing inside. Only now could have taken the knife out of it. I... I don't know anything about that! Hold on. When and how did now find the key to the kitchen anyway? That's a good point. How did she get in the kitchen? And how did she hide the key upstairs? Ooh, this is sus. Sus. It was open. Eh? Huh? The kitchen door was unlocked at the time. So I ran in and locked it from the inside. Then somebody else went in first, meow. That's who took the knife. Woof. First, I carried Alice over to the pink room. At the time, someone dug through the kitchen, took the knife, and left. Finally, now went into the kitchen with the box and locked herself in. Does the timing work out? Hmm, maybe that's logical? It's super sketchy, though. It, it's not sketchy in the least! I'll, I'll tell you anything! Well then, Miss Now, tell us what you were doing in the kitchen. The whole time, I just sat and held the professor, the profess, in the box. I didn't move an inch. Well, guess you'll just have to break the ice, Sarah. Yeah, I need to ask her about that. So clearly I'm gonna talk to him first. If she never let it go, then wonder why the box was empty. We'll just have to ask her. Yep. Hold on, I didn't move an inch. Sitting in the dark, I asked him questions again and again, even though I wouldn't get an answer. So you're lying, huh, now? <laughs> what? There was nothing in the box. Nothing at all. What? Th that can't be right! It's true now. What's that? I don't know anything! The professor was with me the whole time! Where did he go? Hmm, is this an ash? Now ain't that kind of gal? There's gotta be some reason of advantage. Advantage. The mystery of the vanishing head. If now is just acting, then can't really put together why she didn't need to lie to us here. What's going on? I don't understand. I certainly lost sight of myself, but I've done nothing suspicious and I don't know why it disappeared. Now, respected Professor Mishima, maybe her shock was so great that she unconsciously did something strange. <laughs> what did she do with the head? She turned the head into soup. She wanted to have Mishima's memories. It must have gotten swapped at some point with another box the kidnappers prepared. The contents of the box warped, meow, like a dimensional teleporter thing, woof. Missed out being manipulated by the kidnappers, is that a possibility? Is there no good lead? Were you angry? Not so much angry, I was sad. It was so depressing and painful, I didn't want to believe it was a reality. You were sad? Yes, you'd understand, right, Sarah? Wasn't she curious about who voted for Professor Mishima? Maybe she was on the kidnapper's side to start, or maybe brainwashed or something. Doubting doesn't feel good, does it? I mean, this place is full of crap like that. The kitchen was pitch black. It got swapped in the dark when she wouldn't notice. That's true. That's true. That's true. Now, I'm a little curious. Huh? Maybe I've just got a rough disposition, but why didn't you think about looking for the culprit? I mean, it wasn't an accident. It's because of the votes that such a terrible thing happened to someone you deeply respected. Ain't it more natural to get angry? I... I don't think so at all. Since I knew no one's votes had any ill will. Maybe you didn't respect him. What are you? Maybe Miss Now and Professor Mishima didn't have any bond at all. Then I could understand her mindset of not seeking out the culprit. How awful! You're awful, just awful. I truly did. Sarah, what do you think? Bond is a lie. These two seem to have a great relationship. I can't point to some logical proof. There was just something about it. Now being that distraught, distraught couldn't be an act. And yes, there must be some reason for the professor's head disappearing head. The collar. Uh, suppose Miss Now didn't stick Professor Mishima in the box out of affection for him. Rather, maybe her objective was to retrieve the collar on his neck. 
In other words, information that Miley failed to retrieve? You're trying to say now collected the collar in place of the kidnappers? Dunno. However, I should note your friendly policeman wasn't able to investigate that collar because now was there. <laughs> hey, you being serious? What? What? What are you talking about? I don't know. I don't know anything. Please, just stop it. Then tell us, why didn't you care who the culprit was after the vote? Because Professor Mishima was killed by the people who voted for him. You stop right there, Joe. Stop it. Don't say another word. I'm begging you. I'll talk. I'll tell you everything. What? <laughs> I overheard all of it. It was just before the vote. Oh, I think I remember this now. I think I remember this now. Mishima said something. Quiet enough that only somebody real could hear. Real close could hear. Miss Now. Miss Now. Let us vote for each other, Miss Now. He said that? Thinking the vote was just a test, I'm sure Now voted for Mishima like he asked. But Mishima voted for himself. To protect his student, just in case? That's why now didn't look for the culprit. Don't bring up any ill will crap, because it doesn't matter. His death was an accident. Now, I... Ah! If I... I hadn't voted for him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry now. All this time I'd been thinking whoever voted for another person must have had bad intentions. Just because I voted... Just because I voted for myself. What? Wait, Joe, you voted for yourself? Huh? Yeah. So, didn't you tell me you voted for Joe? No way, I didn't say anything like that. Motherfucker. What? What's this about, Sarah? So, uh... <laughs> Don't worry about it, everybody. Miss Sarah asked me who I voted for, so I just told her whatever. She's so diligent, she must have taken it seriously. This... This guy... He's a huge liar. So ultimately, are we just going to ignore the missing head? That's still a big mystery, but seems like now did nothing wrong, at least. Maybe Reiko had the right idea and it got swapped out at some point. Seems only Miss Sarah has any sense. Hey guys, you're never going to solve anything like this. But, but, I think it's wonderful you can trust each other this much after just meeting, you know? But, well, bad people always feign innocence. You trying to say Now's a bad person? I just remembered something. That Miss Now's the one who attacked me. <gasps> you piece of shit! What? That was a close one. If I hadn't remembered that, I could have gotten away She could have gotten away clean. Is this true? Shut so mouth! <laughs> um, shutting his mouth isn't going to advance the discussion. We need to hear So continue to lie so that I can debunk his lies. So we're gonna question now. Hi, hi, that's wrong. I'll hear anything out, Miss Now. Now's your only chance to tell the truth. If we're going to argue until one of us loses trust, I'll have to do my best too. Tell me, do you have it? Do you have that courage? I I did hit so. F for real? You're joking, right? Why now? I was threatened. But by who? Kai. <laughs> what? The fuck? I, I don't even remember. I don't even remember this part of the this part of the fucking thing. Holy shit. Progress. Kai threatened me to strike so in the head. After the body collection announcement, I ran with the box to the cafeteria where suddenly Kai pulled by my hand and pushed me into the kitchen. Remain quiet. If you hide here, you won't be found. Uh, okay. Kai protected me. 
It's quite admirable of you to stand up to the kidnappers, Miss Now. Please don't tell anyone about this. Once Kai knew the situation, he made me a proposal. Well then, Miss Now, would you indulge a request of mine? Wh what kind of request? That is enough. Don't be a wet blanket, we were just getting to the good part. I am astounded you would tell such a lie, Miss Now. It's not a lie! Kai, you deny threatening her? Indeed, if she had been threatened, she would surely tell all at the start. For Miss Now has no reason to defend me. It is quite different from when Alice stood up for Miss Reiko. Awful! You're awful, Kai! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! The discussion is stuck in equilibrium. Miss Now, you are attempting to drag in as many others as you can. You're wrong! Why would Kai be able to open the kitchen? You know what? Like Now says, she couldn't open the door to the kitchen. And neither could I. In fact, the kitchen key was beyond the iron bars on the second floor, yes? I did not go to the second floor. How do you explain the key's presence there? Could the door have been picked open? I mean, you can bonk somebody with your, with your kitchen utensils. It's so you could just threaten with bonk. What if Kai had the knife? What if he has the knife? Oops. No, if you had the kitchen knife, you would be able to threaten her. There wasn't anything deep enough for resentment, which meant he had an he had an objective not tied to so. Hmm, if you insist that's the case, what objective could I have had? To steal something, yes. So you admit it, Kai! Oh, what are you referring to? Kai, you wanted to steal the laptop so had. Boy! I remember now, Kai said he'd defend me on the condition that he received the laptop. You ought to remember the important part first. She lost herself enough to knock a dude out. Of course her memory's gonna be fuzzy. I, I'm sorry, but now I remember it clearly. Do you understand? Do you understand, Miss Now? Please retrieve the laptop from So in the hidden room. I, I can't. If he sees me, he'll call for Sarah. Then you may borrow my frying pan. Approach from behind, understand? Do not worry. Your strength is such that not even a forceful whack with this will not kill. But... If you refuse, I will hand this key to someone else. That's... Please, Miss Now. I am not the only one who will be in trouble if I do not get that laptop. Miss Sarah will be as well. Sarah? But that was all a lie, wasn't it? Kai didn't keep his promise! Kai must be the one who took the professor away! Might not necessarily be a lie, actually. Huh? The laptop is password locked. Considering that, why do you think Kai would be so serious about taking it? Because... You have a way to bypass it. Could that be done with some special device? Well, there's nothing like that here, so it's actually much a much more laughable reason. The password was easily guessable. Wait, if you know that, you unlocked it? Of course! Fucking liar. What? Didn't you say you couldn't see anything? Yeah, but that was a lie. Another lie? See, the password was Cheetoin. <gasps> huh? It's Cheetoin? What a bizarre lie. Sorry to say, but it's true. I tried typing in everyone's names. And my last attempt was trustworthy Miss Sarah's last name, Cheetoin. Imagine my shock. I... I've never seen that laptop in my life! Of course I know this isn't your laptop, Miss Sarah. Then... it's Kai's, isn't it? You... read the emails. So, you admit it. What in the world is this? I wanted to read them all, if only Miss Now hadn't whacked me. Ugh. Well now, what did they say? I remember them well. As planned, 17 people have been secured. That's what it said. 
No, I didn't use it. Among the emails on Kai's laptop, one was saying, as planned, 17 people have been secured. I was able to read four emails, all of them sent from Kai to some other person, though all the addresses were different. Nonsense addresses that seemed like codes. I'm guessing this was a security measure to hide who they were being sent to. I'll recount them, starting from the oldest, okay? As planned, 17 people have been secured. Just in case, is there no error in the date of the death game? Everything is proceeding smoothly. I feel a deep affection for Miss Sarah as well. I will certainly protect her. I am prepared to offer myself up for the Cheetowins. It's about time. If any harm comes to Sarah Cheetowin, I will stand against even you as, as an enemy. Miss Sarah is looking forward to the games. Surely her friend will also take part. <sighs> it's the problem is that I, I can't trust So, but also we know that Kai is our stalker, so we can't trust him either. Also, he is admitting that the laptop is his, but that doesn't mean that uh, So isn't lying about the email contents. What in the world? <laughs> Death game, you gotta be shitting me! Clearly he's talking about this! K Kai, this has gotta be wrong, right? You can't be with the kidnappers, yeah? Well now, were the apron scoundrel and Sarah Chidowin acquainted? I wouldn't say acquainted. Kai is the man who stopped me. Um, you don't think the friend is Joe? Uh, m me I inferred that much myself. It's a fact that Kai knew about this death game. He's with the kidnappers. And more terrifying yet, Miss Sarah and Joe are with them too. You piece of motherfucking dog shit. How dare you! How dare you say that! <laughs> if we were with the kidnappers, obviously we wouldn't do that dangerous trial. We can't even trust the contents of those emails to start with. What if So is just making it up as he goes? If So's opinion catches on like this, we'll be in danger. Huh, so you won't admit it. Obviously, we nearly died in the first trial too. Y yes, that's right, something that terrifying. There's no point in doing it yourself, is there? Did you really do the trial? You can't prove it, can you? You cannot pr prove yourself either. Though if we had the laptop here, your lies would be exposed as well. Even after your threat was exposed, you're still staying stubborn, eh? For argument's sake, I might accept Kai as a bad guy, but I can't get those two being our enemies. Eh? Back in Russian Roulette, it was Sarah and Joe being there that got us through safe. Big so Sarah got me out of the cage, meow. You look weak, but you but you're really cheeky woof. But hold on a second, that isn't what just making sure here, but you didn't read the emails wrong, did you? Jerk for a Huh? Er, how, how strange. What's the matter, everybody? Think calmly now. Look, look, Kai and Nao's actions were proven. Now hit me, made a big bump even. Doubting me now, it's illogical. <gasps> then again, what if so is... The sacrifice, and he is trying to make himself look this suspicious right now so that we vote for him. This is just weird. Why does everyone believe Miss Sarah? <clears throat> How pitiful. It seems the difference in trust between you is the difference between heaven and earth. What the hell? Open your eyes, everyone. I'm, I'm telling you what's right. What if I be the better person? So, even your words can't be fully denied, I don't think. Myself, I have no connections to the kidnappers. However, I'm also questioning who Kai really is. So, it's thanks to you that became evident. What do you mean, thanks to me? Enough. <laughs> Amazing, Miss Sarah. You're a prodigy at seizing people's hearts. Shameful, the rest of you. The riffraff. Don't you value your lives? Don't you doubt when others are kind? 
Do you not even have brains to think for yourselves? Death is just a matter of time for you. That's the way weaklings live. <laughs> what, what the hell's happened to you? I've given up on all of you incompetence. Worthless, every one of you. The loner snapped me out. I'm scared, Wolf. I can't count on any of you anymore. Miss Sarah, let's talk it out ourselves. This is the fastest way. Ha 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 ha. Kai is with the kidnappers. He even asked the date of the death game by email. And Miss Sarah's in on it, too. Uh oh, fuck. Are those emails not just one of your lies, so? <laughs> you sure do you want me to call me you sure do you want to call me a liar, it seems. If you can't believe it, why not close your ears? And I'll carry the conversation how I like. I understand how Kai is suspicious. Even suspicion of me is inevitable, but suspecting the three of us as a group isn't right. You're just presenting this in a manipulative way. Jeez, that's a sharp remark. Well, I'll say it like this for you. <sighs> Enough. Could you calm down for a second? Well, I failed. Ugh, I refuted most of it. Did I get three of five correct? <laughs> Ugh, I refuted most of his remarks. Why does he look unperturbed? Seems like everyone's just plain unsure what's right anymore. Suspicion and unpleasant air swirls around us. So, this is because of you. G get a grip, everybody. Doubting Sarah just isn't right. You want us all to be killed off? Hey, what do you think would be the worst f for you? If a guy like me with no trust were a traitor, no, that can't be it. It'd be, Miss Sa it'd, it'd be if Miss Sarah was your enemy, right? Now see here. Yes, yes, your attention, please. Hehehe, <laughs> sorry to intrude while you're all getting fired up. It's nearly time for the preliminary vote. What? Wait, at a time like this? The hell do we do? We've got no conclusions. How are we gonna make a vote without regrets? What can I say now? Be brave, everybody! Those feelings of not wanting to be betrayed are just getting in the way. Doubting Miss Sarah is a step forward. Grr, so you really are a... <laughs> Come on, let's vote already! And now, it's your turn to die, Miss Sarah. Fuck you. Please choose who to vote for. Oh, man. Yeah, it has to be this. It has to be this. All votes have been received. Displaying results. Ugh! Jesus, fuck! Why? Oh, man. Kana got two. <laughs> That's five exact people. Yep. Fear is welling up inside me. Hehe, <laughs> what do you think of the results? Five will proceed to the final vote. Kana Kizuchi. Kai Sato. Joe Tazuna. Why, why me? So Hiori. I see. Sarah Chitoin. We'll die? One of us five will with certainty. I don't want to die. I... I'm the key master. I'm the key master. Please believe me. Sarah. Why did that come out now? I want to survive. I still want to live. Uh, am I safe? Y you're kidding. Me too? Woohoo! Dumbasses! It's the next part that's seriously bad! Our votes will decide our fates. Do we have to choose? Big sis Sarah. Why me? I've tried so hard. In the end, it what didn't even matter. <laughs> and not just for myself. It was so everyone could escape. So why? I don't want to die. I don't. Get a grip, Sarah. Erm, um, I mean, hey now, Sarah. Your friendly policeman's with you. 
Keiji! Listen, everybody, we need to narrow it down to just one person. Forget your sympathy and your grudges, just remember the roles. If we choose the Keymaster or Sacrifice, we'll all die. Y yes, indeed. We're far from safe at all. Absolutely. Oh, hey, is one of us a sage? If we've got a sage on our side, they'll know who the Keymaster... Don't tell me there isn't, Meow. This is the worst. So it's one of the five? Nothing to be done. There's only one course of action. Have the five prove it with words. Isn't that right, Sarah? Exactly. Okie dokie. If anyone wants to convince the roll on their card, let's go in order. I have nothing to say. Kana! I have little to say myself. You are, to f you are free to imagine as you wish. Sigh, I'm the key master. I'm the one who's been saying it from the start. Honestly, this beanie sack of shit can't be trusted. It makes my blood run cold. Hmph, I'll believe in so. And whoever tries to protect him is the sage. That's where we ought to aim. Why aim for the sage, Wolf? The sage can divine, but if they're outed, it's over. Like, oh, if that's the sage, I can vote for him. So the sage can't confess? Meow. Hey, yeah, if Kana really wants to die, wouldn't she say, I'm the sage? Also, the sacrifice gets the vote, vote twice, right? Is the sacrifice someone who received two votes? This is hard, meow. I don't want to massacre. Woof. <laughs> I don't want to massacre. <laughs> this is hard, meow. I don't want to massacre. Massacre has a bad sound to it, woof. D didn't you say that word first, Geen? No, woof. My parents would get mad if they had heard me use that word like that. Meow. Then who told it to you? Big Bro Joe said it before the preliminary vote, meow. If you pick Sarah, it'll be a massacre for sure. Huh? Is that why... Does that mean Joe is the sage? Yeen, could you tell me that again? Er, before the preliminary vote, Big Bro Joe said if you, if, all, if you pick Sarah, it'll be a massacre, woof. Joe, what did you say about your role? Huh? Well, I said I wouldn't say it. You corrected who cares into I won't say. A role you won't say. It's like that, is it? <laughs> Hold on a sec, Sarah. There's no time. We shouldn't be arguing, right? Should I be saying this out loud? Like, I don't want Joe to die, obviously. But also, it's like, I don't even really know how to advance the conversation otherwise. <laughs> the outcomes that result in a massacre, in other words, everyone being killed. It's when either the key master or the sacrifice is chosen as the victim. And there's only one role capable of identifying one of those, or of identifying the key master. Yes, a role that shouldn't be exposed. Will I expose it myself? You know, we did just save. We did just save the game, so we can always go backwards. Joe is Sarah. Joe is the sage. I see, so that's how it is. What's the meaning of this? Following that logic, Sarah, don't you have to be the key master? If that's the case, Sarah, you sold him out so you could survive. That's wrong. Sarah is trying to save everyone. She isn't someone who just thinks for herself. <laughs> hey, all that. That's just a strong possibility, right? Joe, you won't admit it, will ya? Guess it's come to this. But I don't plan on dying. Everyone, you gotta promise me. What? what do you mean? I'm the sage. I did a divination, but I haven't clearly said what the result was. Because the sage can't lie about the results. I'm going to say who the key master is. In exchange, I want you to not vote for me. Ooh. I'm on board. Now tell us their name. Their name is... Joe? What? Why do I feel so uneasy? Sarah, of course. Joe. All right. Now we look for the sacrifice between So, Kana, and Kai. Um, 
I'm the sage. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Meow? My reading was that So was the key master. You see, this is a brilliant move because technically, um, technically, there's no reason for her to not do this because the only proof, we, we don't actually have proof that Joe knows that it's us other than he made a specific comment that Gein heard, but just because he made a comment to Gein doesn't mean that Joe was telling the truth. Like, Joe could be could have been lying about being the sage, and he could just be guessing. You know? So, Kana is basically doing the... If Joe is, the, is also guessing or just making a false claim, that means Kana can just do the same thing. <laughs> hey! No, no, I am the sage. Miss Sarah it was the key master. My head's spinning! Woof! Hehehe, <laughs> eight minutes to go, everyone! <laughs> so and Kana are working together, I've got no doubt. K Keiji, there ain't no way there ain't no way Kana is up to no good. Kana's being used by the beanie guy! He's gonna cast her aside! Don't you dare pick her! We, we can't possibly find the answer in this little time. Ah, we need to reason out the roles somehow. If only we could just look at what's on the cards, then we'd know the roles. What's on the cards? What's on the cards? Just maybe. Hehehe, <laughs> three minutes left. Let's take a gamble on it. Listen up, everyone. This is the last discussion. This is crazy. Joe, I'll ask you. R right, ask me anything. What's on the Keymaster card? In other words, what's the design? Huh? You can't answer, can't you? As the sage. Well done, KG. You've revealed the truth with just one question. Don't take me lightly, will ya? Obviously, it's a picture of a key. <laughs> the pic... It was the picture of a lock. Correct, the design for the Keymaster is a lock. Slipped up right at the very end, Joe. What? what are you talking about? I saw it for sure, a picture of a key. There's no time. This is your last chance, Sarah. The last, right, there's no time to keep drawing out statements. I need to deal the final blow in just one action or we all lose. Oh. Everybody but Kai just made a statement. Now we need to ask Kai what the key what the key master key looks like. The sage knows the key master. If that's true, some people are telling the truth and some are telling lies. There's probably no time to extract statements out of people at this point. Think more, use clout. Contrasting statements is pointless too. People who don't want to be chosen will just stall. Right, all I can do is use an item, but on who and what? Oh. The rules. I'll hit them with the rule book, but there's no time to expose lies with it. Use the- you know what? He's the one who hasn't told us what the thing looks like. Let's do it. Ah, uh, sure. I'm gonna fail. This is gonna fail. This is gonna fail. Right now, I'm seeing the worst outcome in my head. This is just an uncertain line of logic, an imperfect hole of the kidnapper's design. If all my guesses are correct, it's over. It's all over. Please, let me be wrong! I don't have anywhere left to go but forward. Kai. Yes? Please tell me the results of your divination. Quit it, Sarah! Talking to Kai now is just a waste of time! Believe in me! I, okay, so I knew that I had to talk to Kai the first time. I just didn't do it correctly. I needed to use the rule book, which was silly, which was like, you know, that, that's kind of silly and fickle of the game, but that just means I was right in the first place. You won't say, will you, Kai? Because you can't say. What are you? It says in this rule book, too. The sage no knows who the key master is via divination, but cannot lie about the results of divination. All it says is they know who it is. Plus, they can't lie about the results. 
the real sage couldn't see any design. Okay. Now I understand. They know who it is, but they didn't see the card, which means both Kana and Joe are lying. Which then also means that So is lying, which means that Kai is the one uh, who is the actual sage. Because if Kana, if Kana was trying to get herself killed, then that means Kana and So would be able to escape if So made that whole deal with Kana. Why did Joe claim to be the sage? Ha! Ha! Kai, he won't mention a design, is the sage. <laughs> My fate has been set then. Ah, so Kai was the sage. When we came to the subject of designs, I realized I was in danger. I thought I might play dumb, but it was clear I would be the most voted simply due to my lack of trust. Yet, yet, I, I do not wish to die. Kai, the sacrifice is surely Joe. <gasps> no. Joe? I am convinced he purposely took actions that could be read as those of the sage. And thus, please, please vote for so. <laughs> Why me? He is a dangerous man. He will certainly disturb our teamwork and lead everyone into danger. I did indeed have contact with the kidnappers, but if you let me live, I will tell everything. I have vital information for our escape. See ya, Kai. G guys, don't be fooled. Ah. I'm the sage. It's time to vote. Please refrain from whisperings. Please don't kill me. Please choose who to vote for. All votes have been received. Displaying results. That's too bad. You lose, Kai. I understand. So long as you may be the sacrifice, choosing you is risky. It's more than that. If you picked me with emotion, that word would be your will. That would be your will. But everyone chose with logic. Awful, isn't it? This vote isn't about our own wills. That's what everyone's telling themselves, how they're fooling themselves. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> now everyone enjoy yourselves as I check your answers. First then, the sage. You were right everyone, it was Kai Sato. Next, the keymaster. <laughs> the fierce battle between you two was a true sight to see. Amazing, it was Sarah Cheetowin. No, stop it. And the sacrifice, the one who dies with objective incomplete incomplete is Please, ta-da, it was Joe Tazuna. Ha, 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 well, what to say? Guys, sorry for tricking you. D dumbass, what are you sorry about? You, because of us, you, you, don't you feel bitter? I don't know, I just don't know. I mean, I just can't see you guys as bad guys. Even so and Alice must be good people, really. Sarah, this isn't real. It's just... Sorry, I even tricked you. Joe, stop it. I don't believe it. I... Sarah, you didn't vote for me. That's what made it clear. I... All of you guys are my friends. So work together and do your best. Ah... Uh... <laughs> Last, there's something I want to say. Sure enough, it's hard for a guy and a girl to say this sort of stuff to each other, huh? I love you, Sarah. You're my best friend. Wha? Yes, 
Yes, it's over already. Ehehe. Kai Sato, chosen by vote, will be the main event. Whereas you're the opening act. Hurry up and die. Wait, wait, Miley! Come, Wrigglers! Ah, uh, ah, uh, suck all the blood from Joe Tazuna. Smiley, stop this! I'll do anything! I'll die in this place! So, so... Save Joe! Please, help him! How cute, Sarah! Ahaha! <laughs> Why not? I'll give you a chance! Huh? Hehe! <gasps> this button will slow the device connected to Joe Tazuna! Just keep pressing it! The device will be slowed the more you press, and maybe even stop! G give me that! Now keep mashing that button, maybe you'll save him, hee hee. Wait. Wait, what is the button actually? Now that I think about it. I'm gonna get carpal tunnel! I'm developing arthritis! Fuck. Joe expired. Joe, please. Respond. Open your eyes. Ryoko, your family. You need to go home to them, don't you? Let's go to school together with Ryoko. Click, 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 click. With each press of the button, my heart crumbles. Like I'm pounding my heart with a hammer. Just stop, Sarah. It's enough. Wah! Ah! Hee <laughs> How cute you are even when you cry. You were so close! It might have stopped with just a little more! <laughs> you, you're horrible! As if you ever intended to let me save him! It's nothing to cry about, is it? Your hard work let Joe Tazuna live just a little bit longer. With each button press of yours, Joe suffered longer! <laughs> Ah, uh, how boring. Have you been broken? Oh, very well. I have no time to spare for you. For Kai Sato, you are the main event. Unfortunately, I will not let you do as you wish. I will issue my own death. You, you, what selfishness. The knife from the kitchen, as if I'll allow you to suicide. Ah! Damn it! Get off me, you idiot brute! Like hell, I wouldn't let you go if you killed me! Damn it! I can... I can't activate the device! Miss Sarah, can you hear me? Joe, I... This... Listen to me, Sarah! This is resistance. Our lives toyed with to our enemy's whims. We are unable to save even a single person. As we die off, this is my feeble resistance. But it is one large step toward counterattack. It is a step I was able to take because you bought me time. It is surely not futile. I entrust them to you. Our regrets, our hopes. I am satisfied. Wasn't today your birthday? Huh? Good memory, Chidoin. Hey, didn't I say Joe was fine? 
Then you should call me Sarah yourself. Have this, Joe. Wog, what the heck? It's so cute. It's a dog keychain. My friend Ryoko won it at an arcade. You can take it. Then I'll then I'll wear it till graduation. That long? Don't get it confiscated. Thanks, Sarah. Nine remain. How's Sarah? She's tossing and turning. I, I'm right next to you, big sis Sarah. Meow. I'll go too. I don't know what I can do, but I'll at least stay by her side. Yeah, right. This time, we'll give her strength. <laughs> Please, everyone, rest up in a while before proceeding to the next floor. Eh? Can you go home? A funny joke! We've only just begun! Let us enjoy this, everyone! <laughs> Kai, were you really a bad guy? Being bad, that makes you a good-for-nothing. And you didn't seem to be like a good-for-nothing guy. I don't know. I just don't know. I want to know everything. You're the one who said it. I don't like this. Please don't make Sarah sad. Didn't you feel anything from what Joe said? I... Hey. You said you were a policeman, yes? What about it? A policeman knows about murder cases, yes? Yeah, if I'm in charge of them. Do you know the crime I committed? Why? I imagine it's just a coincidence, but... I killed a person once. What was the victim's name? It was... Sohiori. Huh? 